it really reminds me of like a PCB mount or like some sort of clamp. Yeah, it could be used as that. Cool. Ah, ah, that's a good idea. Repurpose this as a little uh, PCB holder device. Come on, guys, that's not a PCB holder. This is a PCB holder. <laughs> Hey, I'm Sunshine, and this is my print-in-place PCB holder. As the name suggests, it's print-in-place, which means you can just print it in one go with no support whatsoever, take it off the build plate, and it's ready to be used. The mechanism used in this is the same as in my print-in-place spring-loaded box, where I use two of these Sunshine gears to open and close these little pincers, or grabbers. The grabbers also have a little bit of serration, so PCBs and other flat objects really hold well. Of course, I call this a PCB holder, but you can of course use it for other things as well. I made two versions. One, a fully print in place with this handy dandy stand. For this one, you have to know that there are uh, there's one 70 degree overhang, which is maybe a bit on the steep side. However, that part is not functional. It's just this, the foot here. So if you can print it, you should be fine. The other one I printed is one with a GoPro mount. This one prints a lot faster. And to be honest, this one is a lot more practical because you can put it on a swivel joint and you can place it in any way you want, which makes this a lot more useful if you're actually planning on using it. This one is nice to just like show off what 3D printing can do. Yeah, this is a pretty simple print, not much to say. Links in the description. If you like this video, please check out my other ones. There's lots of print in place shenanigans and other weird 3D printing projects. So yeah, please subscribe and see you guys later.